Before the music, we would simply follow the noise once the initial silence had been dispersed. Mirror of the soul before which stray genius might poise, creating patterns of sound never once rehearsed. Sonatas robed in moonlight, symphonies carved from sunlight, oceans of pure emotion, each transporting its own deluge. No quarter can be given then to either wrong or right, as the music swells to stop the wars, like a divine refuge. Out of the forest into the trees, watch the leaves fall on the last autumn breeze. The owl wants his wisdom, the poet wants his rhyme. We all want the beauty that has run out of time. But once the seed has started growing, the roots will hold with all their might. The winds of change are constantly blowing out of the darkness and into the light. Out of the lost dream, into deep sleep, try to be constant, eternal watch keep. The sun always rises as hope never fades, each child is a promise as time sharpens his blades. And once the right road has been chosen, no matter to the left or to the right, the final judgment will be solidly frozen out of the darkness and into the light. If the boy child is noted as being father to the man, what might be written of a mother and her daughter? The pains and joys of birth blend as no other feelings can, a love deep-rooted like a tree beyond all men's folly and slaughter. A glance and a warming hug given tenderly outside mere words, such purity overwhelming as the most savage tidal wave. The daughter's hands then released with love to fly like fledgling birds, a new heart beating eagerly with the strength her mother gave. Our long years swallow all our bodies and souls in endless cycles of lost mystery. Worn slogans scratched on walls made up of holes, while children's games try to rewrite history. Wild tribes form clans and then construct towns, locking the doors and sealing the borders. Once smiling faces turn into hideous frowns, excusing themselves by simply following orders. And yet beyond, wild flowers bloom to make colours real, despite the rumours of war quickly turning infernal. So each child can still smile and quite safely feel that every mother's love is always eternal. I am the gentle girl child, the gift of heaven's daughter, born free of limb and head and beating heart. My mother lay waiting anxiously until the news they brought her, these piercing eyes which smiled at her from the start. So what then when the skies turn black while freedom lurks in the shadows? How to accept such pain when simple love cannot be free? A girl child with a single flame that now in her veiled eyes glows, unique symbol of humanity's fight, the pure light of true liberty. The atmosphere was maudling and the gathered crowd bereft. Cool silence told its own story of how it should have been. 
cast down eyes bore witness to what was most likely theft, while from the depths the murky light was something never seen. But then a fiery soul emerged, an echo much like the voice of a child, conciliating opposites where truth with bloody war converges. And as her song stirred hearts and souls, her wide eyes weeping wild, they saw that when plunged into the depths, something more beautiful emerges. Darkness creeps in where no light shines, breaking the spell of once mystical thought. Blackened trees are lined with now limited minds, paying the price for what can never be bought. Yet pockets of fresh hope quickly weave a new spell, crashing through mirrors where deep despair lies curled. For every hurting lost soul has its own tragic story to tell, deeply steeped in the light of the mind, light of the world. A mother's wide arms are all-embracing, a truly safe haven against life's stormy seasons. Every child will have felt their young heart wildly racing as mothers swallow their tears and smiles, no matter the reasons. Then life breaks its promise and turns children into soldiers, casting off poetry and the magic each child discovers. Eyes filled with hatred, hearts as hard as ancient boulders, understanding too late why war is the horror of all mothers. I heard there was a distant land where people made the laws, far removed from the twisted reach of rigged elections. Mothers held their children close beyond all distant wars, while the trees pointed the way towards natural selections. So who sowed the worm of doubt which grew and then came creeping, breaking down love's barricades and turning peacemakers violent? The blame was tossed and turned to suit, as mothers were all left weeping. Because when mad kings and lethal arms yell, all the laws fall silent. When a child can no longer smile, a whole world comes tumbling down. It might last an hour or a very long while, the peace shattered by the bomb's rumbling sound. When a mother spends all her time weeping, the dark sky becomes the source of tears spurting, the fear and the pain relentlessly creeping, because somewhere a child is hurting. A newborn baby's eyes first gaze up at the sky, born tender and naked in this hostile wasteland. The babble of language just passes them by, vague like the desire for some guiding hand. And so youth and age are already at war, conflict aroused with the pain of each birth. Yet all babies swallow the stars and still ask for yet more, while adults swim in despair as they swallow the black earth. O oh men, take care. Of all your gods and monsters, we have surely had enough, as passing time just licks its wounds around our endless grief. So when these fresh warmongers came and tried to call our bluff, it seemed to the right moment at last to build a new belief. 
No more fears, no more tears, and no more heart-wrenching goodbyes. Our seeds of love will fill the earth where evil war grains try to grope. A new world vision will be raised and praised through deep maternal eyes. A compassionate mother of all our lives, our sweetness and everlasting hope. In the dawn, in the dawn, the young Cossacks are crying, far away from their loves, in prison lying. The dungeon's dark, their hope is gone, but the cuckoo calls, in the dawn, in the dawn. Blows the wind, blows the wind, from the sea were it blowing, t'would bear us away beyond all knowing. Our heavy chains we'd leave behind If over the sea should come the wind. Oh, the sun, oh, the sun in Ukraine shining, Take us to where our loves are pining. The Cossacks have their dance begun, The dance of joy in the sun, in the sun. Blue sea. On the sea, with the wind, they're dancing. Our brothers surely are advancing from prison chains, the sad to free. Oh, swiftly come, o'er the sea, o'er the sea. From the very beginning, there were always joined voices, singing the raw praises of sheer ice and wild fire. Music remained at the grass roots of grave choices, magic seeds that would form the first heavenly choir. Birds set the example, wind humming through spread wings, the lion's roar more fearsome than any menace from sad no men. Ignore then their guns rumble as the whole world awakes and sings for an army of warm voices will always defeat tragic cold omens. The tree stood tall and ancient like a steadfast rock of ages, affording shade and rest to those who happened to pass near. Small children felt its close embrace when they escaped their cages. Although time and war and history were seldom portrayed through fear. A poet came and racked his soul while wrestling with a rhyme, Watching a child born a poet who didn't know yet what he would be. Sad music echoed like a dream whose ending was running out of time. And the poem was born of a five-year-old boy and a five-hundred-year-old tree. The sun has little choice but to shine upon what it sees, knowing that in the world it lights up there will be nothing new. Two children fast becoming friends, or a young man felling old trees. The dark ages are still obscure, no matter the new winds that blew. We shield our eyes and wring our hands and wonder why we hurt, as though forgetting all we know while life draws out yet longer. But then we spy a hidden gem, a flower blooming in the dirt, realizing once again that all true persistence makes us stronger. A young girl strode along the shore between the ebbing tides, her thoughts like wild flowers no one else would freely share. She watched the waves and dreamed of horses no child ever rides, wild and savagely in love, like a tree with promised fruits to bear. Then shadows grew and threw rumours across the wind-swept landscape, 
Letting darkness smother the light and truth That in a child's vision starts. But still the flame of a single candle Was more than enough for her to escape, Casting a sacred light to rekindle her world, And then all of our hearts. We crave the summer's harmony through winter's darkest hours, as though our very hearts are tuned to every passing season. The sun will dress the naked trees and robe the world with flowers, making short shrift of man's turmoil, his wars that have no reason. So if time has trapped us on the way between the choice of right and wrong, we can still find solace in the flame of renewed life that burns. Let us greet then the solitary angel who serenades us with her song, knowing she will always sing from the heart until the true summer returns.